Just look at all of this day gaze. This is really, really beautiful. You guys, hello and welcome back to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, a place I'm sure many of you have already been to and have explored and hold fond memories in your heart of. But this is my very first time here watching as the mountain peaks disappear into the beautiful distant snowy sky above, the icicles that are hanging down from the flowerless trees, the thick pines clustered in areas, the way it's kind of isolated and has an achingly beautiful loneliness to it. This is my first time here and I am so happy to share these memories with you guys, especially right before rumors of this land changing may uh, actually come to fruition. So if you guys notice over the next few episodes of Star Stable on the next few days of our adventure together uh, that we kind of are out of sync with the updates, that's because I want to make sure to explore this land before it might completely change out from under me. So with that in mind, and with Daygaze being my companion and keeping me company at this very isolated, very beautiful place, let's continue to explore. I am so excited. I, I, I almost don't want to step out and start moving on our quest and exploring and figuring out what this land has to offer because it's like stepping in fresh fallen snow. Really satisfying, but at the same time you wonder like, oh, what what will it look like once like I step in this? I don't know. Maybe you guys don't worry about stepping in fresh fallen pristine snow, but I do. Because once you change it, it can never go back to what it was. But what's this? But I'm really excited to be able to explore what we can find. What is this? Daygates. Look, there's something blue over here. What is that? This is so interesting. It's like a beautiful crystal piece. Diggies, do you think I can, do you think I can like hold this? What is this? I'm gonna have to get a picture of it. He seems to not be too puzzled by it, but this is so cool. There's just crystals lying about in this land. That is so cool. All right, well, now that I've seen something beautiful and blue, let's go ahead and wiggle over to the old elevator. Diggy seems a little nervous to be close to it. Come on, buddy. There we go. We've got some berries to nibble if we get hungry. And let's take a look at this thing. The motor is right there in the middle of the elevator structure, lower section. I can check it out and see if it's possible to fix it. If I can fix the elevator, then I've got a sure way back to Veldel, and Elizabeth can come with me into the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur without risking death on that main dangerous mountain slide. Now, I don't want Elizabeth to be in danger for sure, so we want to inspect the elevator. All right, Diggies, you stay here. All right, and let's see. That was very dangerous coming down the mountain after all. What do we have here? We'll give it a good little examine. Oh, it's so pretty here. All right. The motor truly has seen better days. It's broken and rusty and out of fuel. Even if it was in better condition, it seems as though it needs to be started using some device or other, which must be somewhere nearby. I've really picked up a lot of engineering tips over my uh, time here with uh, the, the Jorvik adventures, by the way. I can totally tell I, I've definitely gained some engineering skills. That building over there must be some kind of control room. I need to check it out. All right, so let's go over and head there. Oh, this is so exciting. Diggies, you stay there for just a second. I don't want you to get hurt if there's anything nefarious afoot, or if that gigantic column of snow and ice decides to fall down suddenly. All right. Oh, it's locked. Dang, I don't think I can get into that. You'd think if it was 100 years old, the lock would be rusted enough to fall down. The door is padlocked and I can't get in. I wonder if there's a key hidden around here somewhere. Around the door frame or under the window, maybe? Maybe the classic upturned flower pot? It's worth a look. I really want to get into this little building. Then let's break the window. <laughs> like, not to seem too, um, too aggressive about it. But if it's a hundred years old, and if I really need to make sure I don't die in a frozen valley, I don't really feel bad for breaking the window, personally. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, there might be something over here, apparently. In this tree stump? I would hide it a little bit further away from the lock if I was going to hide it anywhere, but nope, not there. Wow, there's really a lot of places to look. 
Okay, what about over inside of these branches? Wow, I even cleaned the branches up while I was at it. Maybe I should just move in. It's like Stardew Valley, except started deep in the snows. Alright. Diggies, what about over here? I guess every little clump of snow needs to be examined, just in case, for a tiny key. Uh-oh. Alright, diggies, don't panic. I'm sure I'm gonna find something any minute now. Alright, we searched all around the building. What about the propane tank? Maybe something over here? No. Huh. This is getting a little... Was that rumbling sound snow? I didn't think about it, but what about avalanches? Oh, this may not end well. I want to grab that ladder. Alright, diggies, I may need your help after all. I, I need to get up so that I can see a better angle on everything. Let's go ahead and rush over. Alright, come on, boy. Maybe you can help me to break the- Oh, wait, there's something right over there. See, I just needed to get up. <laughs> Maybe you can help me break the window, diggies. I'm sure that it would be- Oh, 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 look at all that snow hanging down from the eaves. That's so cool. I'm sure it would be totally forgivable. Oh, we found it, finally. I guess I don't ha- Well, you know, actually, if I might want to turn this into an emergency shelter, breaking the window is probably a little bit of an over-eager idea. All right, let's come over. Thank you for your help, Diggaze. There we go. Yes! The key fits the lock. The door is open now. Do you want to come inside with me? Can you come? You can come inside with me! There you go, Diggaze. This is a control room for the elevator. That control panel looks so old. Looks like it's built using the most groundbreaking engineering from the late 19th century. Definitely needs a closer look to see how messed up the panel is. All right, let's see. I'm so proud of all of the engineering classes I didn't know I took. <laughs> the control panel looks intact, even though it's not been used for a hundred years. The building seems to have protected the delicate machinery from the wind and weather. Well, gosh, now I really would feel bad if I had broken that window. Moral of the story is, uh, you know, maybe sometimes don't take the most obvious option of breaking down the door. If I can find things around here that could be used as spare parts, I think I could actually fix this motor. If I can find usable fuel, then I can get the elevator started. I really feel I need to find a safe way to travel between Valdel and this amazing, exciting valley. Only then can Elizabeth come here with me. While I was looking for the key, I noticed a few odds and ends poking up through the snow. There could be things lying all over the place that I could use as spare parts. I can't be sure, but I also think I may have seen a diesel canister here somewhere outside in the snow. Oh, I'm so excited! Alright, Diggaze. Thankfully, you are an expert, Diggaze, at helping to find things buried in the snow. Since you are normally out, uh, or at least your training has been to go out and help to rescue animals and people who have gotten lost in the snows. You're quite the noble horse, Diggaze, and also stunningly beautiful. The more time I spend with him, the more I realize he really, really is one of the most beautiful variations of these ponies that I think you could have. Alright, but let's dig up all these spare parts. I mean, this is basic survival 101. Make sure you don't neglect to turn over every leaf and gather up every scrap because you don't know what it might be used for. Alright, let's go this way. And we'll go ahead and dig in the snow patch here. There we go. Just how much stuff do I have now? Quite a few spare parts, actually. Old jars, old pieces of metal. I wonder how many pieces... Oh, what's this? Old metal scraps. And Oh, this might be the fuel! This tank is filled with 100-year-old diesel. There's got to be a can or container of some kind around here, somewhere under the snow, that I can fill with diesel. That way I can fill up the fuel tank and get the motor going. <sighs> Too bad a hundred years ago it couldn't just be, you know, solar energy. But I guess that wouldn't really help here. Alright, an old jar. Okay, we need a rusty gasoline canister. Not the jar. Alright, let's come over here. What else can we gather around here, Daygaze, before we go down Explorer's Road? That's where I really want to be. But safety first. Alright, did I find everything? I don't think so. I'm still missing that rusty canister so that we can get more fuel. All right, find a... Oh, and that's where we would pour the gasoline into. 
All right, I'm sure that's completely safe. Oh, wait, there's something over there. Good spotting, Daygaze. Wow, no wonder you're so helpful at being able to <laughs> actually get people out of the snow. All right, this canister, yes. Okay, let's fill up the canister. And now we have all of these spare parts. And together, I will basically have my master's degree in engineering and fix this. All right, up we go, boy. Good job. Oh wait, the motor, the motor, that's right. So now we wanna go to the motor. Let's go ahead and fix the motor before I pour the gasoline in. Up we go, not bad. Seems to be a bit of a ragtag bunch of spare parts, mostly junk. I guess some of it could be used for basic repair though. I'm totally sure the motor can be fixed, even with these random bits of garbage. I saw a toolbox in the control room someplace. I'll need that when I'm doing my repairs. Oh, dang it. All right, so time to turn around. I'm glad you're with us, Daygaze, because this will help go a lot faster. We can nibble some of the blueberries that we have while we dash to and fro. And I hope these tools are still good. I mean, 100 years, it feels like forever, but I guess with some of the things that we can create, I mean, I've been to enough museums to know that it may be old, but things can hold up surprisingly well. All right, there we go. Back up a little bit and... All right, stay here, Daygaze. I'm gonna have to get off. There we are. And let's do this. One of these should fit just there. All right, I think I repaired it. And then can I come over from this angle? I think I have to get down here and jump and fill up this. I think we're close. Nice. All right, the tank is filled. And I think I have repaired everything. Gosh, this little Christmas dress. I guess, you know what? If I wanna feel like now is the time to feel adorable in my Christmas dress, then so be it. I mean, come on, we're, we're fashion and we are actually, an old tray of food can be made into a new lid. We're fashionable and we are wonderfully intelligent with our engineering. There we go, an old lid. Old pipes can be bent into a new fuel line. This sounds completely safe. I'm sure the filters need cleaning. I'm sure this is gonna be fine. I would trust my life to this machine now. Okay, done. The motor is fixed, I think, for now at least. Oh boy, I don't know. Dayges, I heard your little grunt of concern there and I agree with you. As exciting as I as this is and as happy as I am about being able to do all these repairs They do seem a little dubious to me. What? We don't want to come over. Okay. I thought we were going to come to the control room To start everything, but we want to come down here and make sure the fuel is going through I see All right, let's come over The fuel tank is now filled with loads of really old diesel All right So we've got the diesel filled up We've got the elevator fixed. This feels like a little survival. It's so nice in a way because we feel so isolated. Now to try starting the elevator using the control panel in the control room. All right, wonderful. I'm glad we keep finding little patches of money. <laughs> Apparently it's still good, 100 year old coins. Maybe they have some extra value. All right, and the control room. The motor won't start, try again. All right, come on. Come on, it's like rubbing. Oh, oh, oh. No way! <laughs> All right, I, I might have to kind of compete with uh, the clockmaker Betty for her job at this point. Nice, nice. Yay, it works! For how long, though, that's the question. Probably not entirely without risk to ride on that rickety old elevator. Oh boy. I don't know, but at least we have it going, and it seems like we can't do any more exploring until we secure this. Or- The elevator! It's going up and down, all on its own! I need to give the elevator a test run. Come on, Daygaze, let's go. We can't stand here all day. Um... First ride in a century. I don't know about this. This is exceptionally dubious. Okay, Daygaze, apparently we're going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you in. This is absolutely not a reason to panic. And I'm sure you've done... I'm sure you've done riskier things in your day. 
in your days, day gaze. Getting up and down. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm sure he's done riskier things in the name of rescue. It worked! Let's get off this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank goodness we're alive. Thank goodness we are alive. So, let's see. Okay, we need to come over to the other side. Give me just a second, day gaze. That was amazing. I actually really, really loved putting all of that together because I feel so satisfied. I fixed this. The ride in the elevator didn't exactly feel safe, but we made it out in one piece. We were lucky, huh, day gaze? We should stay hopeful that it lasts long enough to give us a few more lifts up and down. Now, thank goodness we can move freely between Valdel and the valley. Whoop, whoop, I say. <laughs> now, everyone can get to the ancient valley, unless they're afraid of elevators, of course. Time to tell Elizabeth the good news that the elevator works. Diggies, let's get out of here before your hooves freeze fast to the ground. Thankfully, he's adapted to this weather. But there we go, guys. Okay. So we need to go and tell Elizabeth about the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur having a easy access. Not only because the route is open, but also because we have fixed the elevator. And then maybe we can finally do some exploring in this terrifying elevator. I'm actually afraid of elevators. So this makes my life very interesting. But we're going to be doing some exploring. And as I said... I'm going to go ahead and kind of hurry and do a lot of exploring in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur before hopefully it updates. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything done I want, but time, possibly since we stepped through that stone circle a while ago, might move in a very interesting way. So we may have some updates and we may have some of my adventures kind of be out of sync, but don't panic. Eventually they will catch up with one another. Just, I have been wanting to be in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur for years now, and now that we're here, I want to appreciate it for what it was before I see what it's going to change into. So I hope you guys will join me on that adventure. All right, so if you guys could please leave a like to give a little berry to Day Gaze. He has worked so hard for us today. And if you haven't, definitely consider subscribing to become one of our many, many adventurers as we tackle this and literally hundreds more adventures and continue to explore the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.